Hi, I'm Sam from Leisure Lane Photography. Uh, this is the first of what will be a series of little interviews with local Gold Coast wedding suppliers. Uh, this one is with Tani from Brayside Chapel, a fantastic venue in Merrimack, just off Gooding Drive. They've got amazing gardens and amazing old chapel. If you don't know about it, you'll probably be really surprised about what's there and uh, yeah, the actual size of the grounds and all the features they have there. I think I need to write something for this and actually have a script and stop looking off camera. There's a reason we put a lot of care into each one of our events and it's because the venue means so much more to us than just a venue. There is a very enchanting and warm, almost nostalgic sort of feel about it. Yeah. I'm so nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> oh Hi, my name's Tani. I'm the venue manager here at Brayside. Um, I've been in the hospitality and events industry for nearly 10 years now and I'm basically your point of contact from your initial inquiry right through to the wedding day itself. Um, I'm essentially your on-site coordinator. Brayside stands out for me um, compared to other venues on the Gold Coast for a couple of reasons. The first one being its amazing location. So we are only 10 minutes to Broad Beach um, just at Merrimack. So if you're familiar with the casino, we're about 10 minutes door to door from here to there, um, which is usually very handy after a wedding, obviously. Um, but also you've got all your accommodation, your nightlife, everything down there as well. The next really big ticket item for me with Brayside is its real sense of intimacy. So we are on just under two acres here, but with that you never feel far away from your guests, which is what I really enjoy, um, but you don't feel crammed in on top of them as well. I really like it because you can, for example, be down here under our tree getting your photos taken. Your guests can be just over there in the lawn bar, but you never really feel detached from them. Any little nook and cranny you and your photographer can find, you're welcome to use. Um, and yeah, it's very rare we have couples that do go off site for their photos, but it's totally up to you, of course. We essentially cater for groups as small as two, right up to 120 for a full ceremony and reception, if you like. Our ceremony locations, you can obviously be outdoors in our beautiful garden or up in the chapel with our receptions happening mostly in the marquee. For the in-between part, we do have uh, three pre-reception areas you can choose from, being the chapel lawn, the lawn bar and the shed bar, all of which are suitable for different size groups and whatnot to ensure all your guests are comfortable while you guys are having your photos taken on site. In terms of our vendors, we work very closely with some of the Gold Coast Best. Most of our couples find that if they use the supplies that we recommend, their entire wedding planning process is really straightforward, really smooth and simple because we've taken all that hard legwork out of it for them. We work very, very closely with Monsoon Catering. They are our preferred caterers on site for all of our functions. They know exactly how we operate as a venue. They know our expectations of them, but also our expectations of them for our couples as well. Likewise with our stylists, our photographers, celebrants, everything through to flowers, hair and makeup. If we recommend somebody, it's because we know they're going to look after you, but it's also because it's our reputation on the line as well. So we're not going to recommend somebody that, you know, is going to make us look not so good. <laughs> A brief history on Brayside um, to where we are now. The house itself was built in the early 1900s by a family that came out from Scotland, which gave it its name Brayside, meaning hillside. So that name has just kept with the property. The chapel was built about 20 years ago by the previous owners. Since John and Judy Rogers bought it about six years ago, essentially everything you see today has been their doing and their dream and passion and everything. So every little garden, um, the shed bar, the lawn bar, the chess set, the marquee, it's definitely changed significantly in the last six years so nobody really believes this until we show them photos where <laughs> the marquee where that is actually just used to be a dust bowl and you could fit about six cars in there for a car park everything that you see here just about has been done within the last five or six years by John and Judy 
There's a reason we put a lot of care into each one of our events and it's because the venue means so much more to us than just a venue. It is very closely family run and operated and yeah, even though I'm not family, I definitely feel like family. So it is, it's a beautiful place to work and it's a very beautiful, special place to get married as well, I feel. And I think I'd be um, not too sort of boastful to say that I think a lot of our couples and their families would agree that when they do step onto the premises, there is a very enchanting and warm, almost nostalgic sort of feel about it which is exactly what they were sort of aiming for. We want people to come in and relax and enjoy the afternoon with their family and their friends. So yeah, we think we do it pretty well and the feedback's been pretty good. So must be doing something right. <laughs> so Brayside has uh, a few different packages you can choose from um, when you are planning your special day. Um, the way I like to tailor it is to essentially get to know my couples and see what's gonna work best for you. Um, there's no point in sort of being a cookie cutter sort of wedding venue in this industry, especially in this day and age, because everybody's wedding should be as different and unique as them. Um, so we do packages starting with um, up to two people. So we have little elopement packages, which include your celebrant, your photographer and your flowers, right up through to the full ceremony and reception um, packages as well. So. We tend to not do at this stage all inclusive packages because we find there's just too many different variables and people have too many different um, ideas and expectations, I guess. So that's where our different vendors come in because if you do have you know, different requirements, they're happy to work with you to suit that. And it keeps it so much simpler for you as well. But in terms of our venue hire, we have the elopement packages. We also have ceremony and mini reception packages. So all that basically is, is your ceremony on site and then you have a mini reception. Your venue hires about three and a half hours or so. And we're finding it very popular because we're getting a lot of couples that want to be married. They want to have a couple of drinks and a bite to eat with their nearest and dearest and then, you know, escape to their honeymoon or whatever it may be. And so we have those and then obviously our big ceremony and reception packages, which are your full seven to eight hour venue hire, the whole kit and caboodle essentially with your DJ and whatnot. So lots of different little things um, like I said all very adaptable and I'm happy to work with my couples to make it very personalized for them so the items that we do have in our brochures are very sort of general um, just to not confuse the masses essentially <laughs> I'm trying to visualize my calendar <laughs> with all the dots on it on average, we do between about probably 180 to nearly 200 weddings and functions a year. Um, that does include obviously ceremony only, funerals, um, and we have started doing birthday parties and you know small sort of corporate events as well. So it does keep us very busy, um, which we do thoroughly enjoy though, just about seven days a week. Oh no, can I watch it before you publish? Because I might no, need I'll you get... to come back and do it again. <laughs>